in question three now. In the mock exam, you're going to have something that's similar but different. Okay, so we've got um, three circuits here, uh, identical batteries, 9 volts, 9 volts, 9 volts. The lamps are identical as well, different combinations of resistors. So this is what we call resistor network. They're in series, they're in parallel. Uh, those two are in parallel, but they we can work out the uh, combined resistance of those, which then operates in series with that one. Uh, in which of the three circuits will the lamp be brightest? So let's work out which has the least resistance, therefore the most current flowing. And uh, in series, hopefully you know that you can just add these together. So the total resistance is going to be uh, 10 plus 10, in other words, uh, 20 ohms. So that's 20 ohms. Uh, this, where they're in parallel, uh, when you add um, additional branches or additional resistors on those branches, you're actually going to be re reducing the uh, resistance. So for example, if you had just one resistor here, so the path, only a single path there, that's going to be 10 ohms of resistance. But as soon as you add another resistor, even if you don't know what that resistor is, you've added another path because some of the current is going to flow that way. And then some of the current will flow that way, even if you don't know what the value of that resistance is, you know that some current is going to flow that way. So you actually have less than, you can be certain you're going to have less than uh, that resistance. And if they are uh, equal value resistors, there's an easy way to do the calculation. It's whatever one of those resistor values is and then divide by the number of those resistors. In this case, there's two equal value resistors. So we can say the total resistance is just going to be 10 over 2, or in other words, 5 ohms. Okay, so that's the resistance of those. Uh, the same ones there, so that is 5 ohms which is then in series with the 10 ohms, so the total resistance is the 10 plus the 5, in other words, uh, 15 ohms, okay. So which one has the least resistance? Well, it's, it's that one, okay, so B therefore will be the brightest. Uh, draw a labelled network of two resistors that produce combined resistance of exactly 12k in the space below. Well. Um, let's let's do a little bit of theory first on this one. So, and this this goes back actually, I think a little bit to what I was saying about there. Say if you've got a single resistor that goes between points A and B, and whatever that value is, let's say it's 10k. Well, we know that with just one path, one resistor, it's got to be 10k. But as soon as you add another resistor, whatever that resistance is you know now that some of the current is going to go that way and some of the current is going to go that way. Okay, in other words, we've added another path. Uh, we have reduced the resistance between A and B. Now, if, say, that is 20K, without doing any calculation, I just immediately know that the new resistance between A and B has to be less than the lowest value resistor. Well, why? Well, if you think about it, if I said that we started off with 10k and then by adding another resistor of an unknown resistance, we were reducing the resistance, it's therefore got to be less than 10k between A and B. How much depends on what the value of this is. And um, there is a calculation to do that. And the calculation for two, re two resistors in parallel, uh, where those two resistors aren't equal, because if they're equal, you just divide it by number. Uh, but if you've got two resistors in parallel, then you can say that the total resistance between those two points will be whatever the product or the multiply those two values is over the sum. OK. P.S. You might find helps you to remember that. Now, um, why am I going to use this formula to uh, figure out which ones uh, of the resistors it will be? Well, I know that I'm not going to be, well, we need 12K. I know that I'm not going to be adding these. It's not like there's a 10K and a 2K anywhere. Uh, so it's we're going to have a parallel um, network somewhere. And uh, yeah, so what, also it says it's got to be two resistors. So I do think that it's going to be this formula, but which ones, okay? Now, if 
10k was one of your two resistors. You should now, by this point, know that it's going to therefore be a total resistance of less than 10k. So we can discount that one. Not going to be that one. Let's try these two. Okay, let's try those. So if we then do uh, 18 uh, times 36. Now I know that they are k, but because all the units we're using are, are k, we can uh, ignore that. So and then sum them together 18 plus 36 and so if you do that you're probably going to get a lot of reflection here hopefully you might be able to just about see it so 18 uh, times 36 over 18 plus 36 and that gives us 12 okay 12k so that's the network that we want so you need to draw okay you need to draw this so in fact what i'm going to do I'll just uh, amend this one. So that's going to be 18K, and then that one's going to be 36K. All right, so I've drawn my resistor network. I've done the calculation as well. Um, yep, okay, so that's going to get those two marks. That will get that mark. Let's have a look at the next one. We've got 10 milliamps of current going in. Maybe that's from the battery. So hopefully you are aware that that means that going back to zero volts, that's going to be 10 milliamps going that way. The voltage that they show here is the voltage drop across this resistor. And notice that we've got six volts there. So it should be immediately obvious to you that if you've got six volts and four volts are dropped there, then you're going to have, well, you're going to have six minus the four, which is two volts dropped across uh, this resistor here. Okay, in other words, V1 is going to be two volts. Um, we know that we've got 10 milliamps going into this node and 2 milliamps goes this way because it shows you there, okay? So we should therefore know that 10 minus 2 is 8 milliamps. 8 milliamps is going that way, okay? And then the 8 is going to go that way, the 2 is going to go that way, and then the 10 is going to go that way. Right. Uh, okay, let's look at the question. Determine the values of the following I1. I1 there. Okay, so that's the 8 milliamps. I2, where is I2? Uh, I2 is down there. Okay, so 10 milliamps we said, and then recombines 10 milliamps. Uh, V1 is this voltage drop here. Well, we've already calculated that. That was 2 volts. By the way, do make sure that you put the units on here, okay? And, uh, yep, yeah, okay, so that should be the three marks there. Calculate the value of R. So, where's R? R, there, okay. So, what do we know? Well, we know the current that flows through it, we know the voltage across it, so we should be able to calculate R by using Ohm's law. Remember Ohm's law? V i and r so if we want to calculate r we're going to cover that over r equals v over i and what do we got we got four volts over the current which is two milliamps and you can you know do this however you like all right but four divided by Two times ten to the minus three. If you wanted, you can write it like that, which you could if you like your maths. You could say four over two times ten to the three, uh, which is well, four divided by two is two times ten to the three, and hopefully you know that, that is two k. Okay, that's two kilo ohms. So that's the answer. Uh, you could just write it as two k if you want. Uh, that is a small k, by the way. Um, yep, so that will get you the four marks. Um, and you can use a calculator on all that if you want. Absolutely fine. In fact, let me just quickly show you that. So if you wanted to, you could just say 4 over 2 times 10 to the minus 3 and just hit equals 2000. OK. And in fact, OK, yeah, it says I've written 2K, but if you want, you can just press engineering and it will say 2 times 10 to the 3, which is... 2k. The colour code on another resistor, not the same one, is white, brown, red, gold. Well, 
Um, if you look at the inside sheet, which you're going to get this as well, you get all those colour codes, so you don't need to worry about that. So white is nine, brown is one, red is two, and gold is the uh, tolerance, the plus minus of five uh, percent. Okay. So what is the value of the resistor? Well, it's going to be nine one times 10 to the power of 2, which in other words means 9, 1 times, or 10 times 10 is 100. In other words, 9, 1, and then if you multiply a number by 100, you put two zeros on the end like that, don't you? And that is 9.1 kilo ohms. Um, and that answers the question, all right? You could, if you wanted to, you could write 9,100 ohms up to you, no problem. Uh, they do give you three marks, so do be careful on that one. I, I think that you must, um, I don't know whether they give you calculation marks or calculations, have a look at the mark scheme, whether they give you marks for calculations or marks for each part, probably marks for each part, I'm guessing, all right? Uh, that's it for this question. I will post a video shortly on the next question. Do, if you're one of my students, do watch all the videos. You can have uh, very, very, very similar but different questions in the mock exam. Okay, that's it for this one.